What's up guys, it's Sophie from Rorock here. And today we're talking about what goes into making your motorcycle helmet. We'll look at all the key components of a strong helmet from the parts you can't see, all the way to the parts that can help you see. Let's get started. When the motorcycle helmet was invented, it looked like a thin leather cap, but times have changed. Made from three materials, helmets are polycarbonates, fiberglass, and carbon fiber. Each has its own pros and cons. Made of rigid plastic, this is the cheapest option on the market. The lower price points of this material make polycarbonate helmets great for those on a budget and that are capable of taking a bash in. This toughness does come at a cost. Polycarbonates are heavy and often lack features standard more than expensive helmets. Lighter than polycarbonate, fiberglass is a reinforced plastic woven with glass and held by a binding resin. Fiberglass helmets are cheaper in comparison to carbon helmets and are still lightweight. They are also more durable than carbon and are less likely to show wear and tear. Still, the lightweight material does make them more brittle than carbon. The premium product out of the three. The carbon fibre weave maintains a high rigidity and an elite level of performance. Lighter than the above helmets and usually more aerodynamic too. Durability does become an issue after a crash, but we recommend replacing your helmet even if you only take a small bump. While many carbon fibre helmets offer bland designs, Rurik has a wide range to choose from. While the outer shell is there for integrity and performance, below the surface is what really protects your head. The EPS, expanded polystyrene foam, makes up the middle of your helmet. In a crash, the EPS cushions the impact before it meets your brain by compressing the forces in a controlled manner. Think of it like bubble wrap for the brain, with beads in the EPS that burst and disperse the flow of a crash. But they only burst once. This is why we encourage replacing your helmet even after minor falls. Next up, let's look at the internal lining of your helmet. While the EPS defends your brain, the inner lining fights against impact. This is why Rurup uses Rion technology. Rion liners control both direct and rotational forces by reactively stiffening upon impact to reduce energy passed through and into the head. MIPS helmet liners are another option. MIPS multi-directional impact protection system focuses on rotational and angular energy, allowing the helmet to slip independently on impact. Both offer excellent grades of protection, but it's important to note the drawbacks of each one. While Rion liners mold to the shape of your skull, they are only available in Rurak helmets. MIPS allows your head to keep moving in the case of a crash to avoid concussion. However, it's argued that helmets already move on their own with an event of a crash. Instead of having a thicker liner, might offer better protection. The fastener or helmet buckle is the component you interact with the most. Crucial in keeping your motorbike helmet on your head, your fastener should quickly release. There are two main types of helmet fasteners, the double D-ring and the fidlock. A double D-ring is two metal rings in the shape of a D that are attached to a webbing strap. This buckle is lightweight and less complex to use than other fasteners. Its main benefit is that you can always maintain strap tension on your chin, but a double D-ring can be difficult to use with your gloves on. Fidlock fasteners use a hook and magnet to clip together. This way, the fastener naturally snaps shut, ideally if you need a quick and easy release. Rurok offers both double D-rings and fidlock fasteners. Before deciding which is right for you, think about what kind of riding you want to do. Certain countries, roads or tracks will require a specific kind of fastener to ride there, so it's worth thinking about. Last but not least is your helmet's visor. A clear line of sight down the tarmac is just as important as a strong shell to protect your head. The better you can see, the faster you can go. To keep vision failure to a minimum, helmet visors use polycarbonate ballistic grade plastics. A multi-layer plastic structure that means any damage to your visor receives presents it from spider webbing or shattering on impact. Visors also come in a range of colours and tints to suit conditions and style choices. Tinted or photochromatic visors remove the need to wear sunglasses under your helmet, which can cause serious damage to your face in the event of a crash. Now you know the ins and outs of what your helmet is made of, all you need to do is choose the right one. Rurik has the highest standard of safety ratings, and with the designs that get heads turning, it's up there with the best style standards too. Head over to our site to find a helmet to suit